So down this quaint little circular street with uh, parking here, nice double gates, little garden behind, easy to maintain, very pleasant situation, established trees in the back, not too much to manage, very pretty indeed. Nice big double barn, we'll have a look at that in a moment, and as I was saying, established trees at the back here. Roses apparently are beautiful in spring and summer. Sun lounge, little conservatory at the front here. And we'll have a look at the garden a little bit more. Lit up at the back here. Lovely fig tree here. Small rear yard, easily, easily maintained. A bit rosy. And the roof all in good structural order. Satellite dish here. Quaint little country backyard and a pleasant flower bed to the left again all well lit for night if you're coming in okay this is a working well and uh, the owner tells me that uh, it has to have water right through the year so again you can get free water to water your plants right the way through even when there's a host pipe ban so going into this beautiful big barn behind the fig tree I've been surprised by just how much more there is. Let's go in and have a look. Big double entrance and a huge barn that could be renovated into a complete jeet. There's no, there's no doubt here, as it is. Although there is already an existing jeet, which we're going to see in a moment with the building. So through into here, log store area, massive area here. If you've had a caravan or anything else, you could bring it in here, store it in here. Through here, there's a mezzanine floor here. You can have a look through here, you see the size of this, roof all in good order, structurally all sound, wonderful big beams look there. You could have a huge house here alone if you wanted to convert further, and there wouldn't be a problem I'm sure with converting here. Let's just go up these stairs, and you see above here, massive area, massive barn. And a second door here, back out to the house. Again, the fig tree overhanging, delightful view. There's just so much space, so much workshop space, so much play space. You could make these rooms into so many things. Games rooms, uh, gym, whatever you wanted. And a full workshop here. Absolutely uh, wonderful, built out here each side. PowerPoints. And coming through the back door here, we come out to a second garden. So we've got the courtyard area just at the back of the house. And here at the back, a little garden, delightful vines here, established trees. Looks like a pear, this one. Tomatoes there, surrounded by conifers. So privacy from the houses at the back, a lovely swimming pool. At the moment, everything is battened down for the winter. You see here it's got steps up so you can get in and out easily. Big pool, lovely sunny area to trap the sun. Another satellite dish there for the jeet. And as we go down the bottom of the garden, a small side gate through to a second little garden here at the side, again with these established trees, cherry tree here, bay tree here, lovely little wall, another terrace again, this is for the jeet, private garden for the jeet, all structurally good order as you can see here, very pretty little place indeed, right round here to the side gates that we showed you earlier, huge pot there, isn't that lovely? And to that nice little courtyard that's easily maintained. Let's go back round into the barn for the moment. We haven't quite finished in there. Back up into here and again to remind you, huge barn, mezzanine, workshop, through to a second part that could be a gym or playroom or the whole huge place turned into a complete large house in itself. 
massive potential here as you can see a massive barn now that water heater goes to the sheet they've got their own separate water heater inside the house so there's actually an outhouse here as well which comes with it for the gardening tools and machines. Going in from the entrance to the jeet here to one side there's another little storage area here yeah. almost in itself could make a little flat um, and uh, or workshop yes at the moment it's got just tile stored in it but structurally sound and another space for storage. So coming quaint. inside the door immediately into the kitchen now we've got a very quaint little uh, jeet here or granny annex this could be a very nice little place for uh, a couple or a granny to just live especially or stay in summer especially but it is double glazed we've got a small cooker we've got fridge cupboards electrics all been put in properly extractor fan there's the front door into here dining table now all of this stuff comes with it um, and, and extras would be negotiable uh, to keep the price and extras would be negotiable so a lot of the stuff you see in the house everything is negotiable absolutely everything the furniture it can be sold as is uh, and negotiated uh, within the price or above for some of the items so it's a good deal electrics here nice little uh, bedroom double bedroom again storage got uh, wardrobes drawers double glazed window again out that nice little view to the garden there very pretty, very quaint, nice and cosy, all well decorated, all nicely painted up. Almost like an English cottage, this one. And a lovely bath there with its own shower. You can hear the extractor fan running now. Nice sink, toilet, spacious. Yes, very pleasant atmosphere indeed. So, little jeet to rent out or granny annex or a little flat for your friends some storage area there look as well above in the ceiling so that will do us let's go out back to the main house which we haven't seen yet okay let's go now and see the main house we've seen the barn we've seen the little jeet or granny annex these lovely gardens somebody just building an extension over the side there so getting planning permission to do more is not a problem looks like the gas cylinders here for running the main fuel supply in the house. So coming in through the entrance, little doggy to greet us and it has blinds, smaller blinds so you can cut this down in light and have it cosy or you can have it open to the summer sunshine. Storage area here, a ramp to come down to make life easier, non-slip. Through into the main lounge, double glazed door here. The property is partially double glazed. Nice big dining kitchen area here. Stairs going up to the double bedrooms we'll do in just a moment. Two other rooms upstairs. A lovely cottagey feel to it. And a wonderful log burner. Hello Pussycat. A wonderful log burner here that keeps the whole house warm apparently. Uh, otherwise she uses portable electric radiators but doesn't really need them. Uh, this will warm the whole house. And a nice sized little kitchen here. You see the size of the place through looking out onto the garden again your own little private views here out into the rosemary and the herb bed microwave sink as i was saying the uh, two big gas bottles outside one bottle apparently will last a good six months here full use for the cooker storage space plenty of it lighting here and through from here we go through to the Bathroom here, a shower, nice circular one again, plenty of space, and the toilet. And again, the window looking privately out to the courtyard. Nice sink. And then we come from this delightful little country kitchen and the lounge through into, excuse me, puss, through into a second little lounge area, come office. Good internet reception here, both here and in the granny flat or the jeet. You see, all in good decorative order. No cracks in the ceiling, no flaking paint. Everything tiled throughout, so easily maintained and cleaned. And from here through to the downstairs master bedroom, nice double bedroom. Nice size, and again, the windows with shutters straight out onto that little patio and courtyard 
easily maintained. Again, all in good order. Not much work to do here, if any. Big wardrobe that can come with the place. Everything can come with the place, all negotiable with the seller, with the owner. Uh, from this office area and the bedroom, we'll go back outside and into the main dining area, round. We've seen the bathroom, the kitchen, and we'll go upstairs because there are two more bedrooms upstairs that run off each other. Having got up the stairs, here we are. The, the second of the three bedrooms, could be a double up here, leads on to, lots of storage space there, leads on to the third bedroom in here, which at the moment has one little single in it, but is actually a double. Nice big beams throughout again, sink in this one, where you've got your own little sink wash basin. And plenty of light coming in, the views outside to the village. Very quaint, very country as you can see. Inside, plenty of storage. The owner's present doll collection which is made herself, which is rather fun, isn't it? And then we come back out from here, down to the house, and that's about it. And this, the asking price at the moment is 155,000, which is for this main house and the huge barn with that potential and for the granny annex or jeet and of course the gardens so double glazed into the kitchen here back out into these delightful gardens again their own private areas that massive barn and this beautiful established fig tree and the roses so lots of uh, space to enjoy the summer french sunshine here